welcome to Art, Culture and Books with me, Anthony King. Today, I'll be taking you to see a wonderful 1870 oil on canvas painting by one of my favourite artists, Camille Pissarro, called Fox Hill Upper Norwood, which you'll find at my local gallery, the National Gallery in London. This painting is in a corner in an odd position and is overlooked by many. As always, I take all the photos and videos myself on location, ensuring that you get an up close and personal view of the fascinating world of art and culture. Now I'll be popping in and out with commentary as this video progresses, but for now, let's take a close up look. Camille Pissarro, the Danish-French painter, was born on July 10th, 1830 in Charlotte Amélie, USA, in the Virgin Islands, and died on November the 13th, 1903, in Paris, France. Now, wondering why he was in London? It turns out he painted there too. One of the 12 paintings he did in London happened during the Franco-Prussian War between late 1870 and mid-1871. When the Prussians invaded Paris in September 1870 and took over his house, Pissarro and his family moved to London, where his mother and brother were already living. They got there in early December 1870 and stayed for a bit in the South London village known as Lower Norwood before moving to Upper Norwood. They merged 15 years later. Now, this part of South London was changing a lot with villages and the surrounding countryside becoming part of the growing suburbs. All the paintings Pissarro did in London show places near where he stayed, but each one shows a different aspect of the city. According to the National Gallery, the winter of 1870-1871 was really cold, so Pissarro could keep painting the kind of winter landscapes he had done in France in the winter of 1868-9. Fox Hill Upper Norwood is maybe the first picture he painted in London. It looks like he painted it quickly and on the spot, with his easel in the middle of the winding road as he looked up westward towards Fox Hill. But according to the National Gallery, he actually finished it in several steps. After sketching out the basic shapes of the picture, Pissarro worked quickly and energetically, blending colours and filling in specific areas like the leaves using a wet in wet technique. Some details like the man were only added after the first layers of paint had dried. You've been joined today by Anthony King, but now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on Fox Hill Upper Norwood by Camille Passaro? Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your comments, thoughts, and views below. Join my Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes content. You can find out more about me on my website, anthony-king.com, where you can support me by purchasing one of my books.